Thank you for tuning in to another NCA matchup. Here we have the third place match for from the February Frosty Flick, took, which took place in Chatham, Ontario in February of 2024. Nolan Tracy was defeated by Andrew Hutchinson in one semifinal, and Ray Beerling was defeated by Josh Carriafello in the other semifinal. So these two get to duke it out to see who takes the third place position for this tournament. Ray Beerling was the higher seed in the afternoon round robin, therefore Nolan shoots first. And this is actually a race to 11 points. Nolan started out with the open 20, Ray missed. Now they're, all right, evened up the 20 cup. Now it's Nolan's turn to come up a little bit short, see if Ray is able to, he does take advantage of that offering. Nolan finds his range now, 2-2 two -two in the 20 cup. <laughs> if you haven't already checked out the two semifinal matches, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with you. Go back to our YouTube channel and uh, look those up. A couple of very good matches in order to determine uh, who would be in the finals. The finals is happening right now between Andrew Hutchinson and Josh Cariafello. Nolan needing that roll in 20 to put any kind of pressure on uh, Beerling at all, which he did not achieve. So Ray Beerling takes that first round and a two to zero lead in this race to 11. See a couple of highlights here as Ray Beerling cleans up a couple of fairly heavy hangers. Ray first act in the second round. Nolan Tracy first come up a little bit short. See if Ray is able to convert, and he is taking a 2-0 lead in that 20 cup. Nolan overcompensates, shoots a little bit long. Nice takeout by Ray Beerling, gets himself back there between the pegs. Nolan content for a takeout, just wait for something better to show up for him to work with. See if Ray's gonna go offensive here, and he does. Nice takeout, 20. Ray very much in command of this round with 320 advantage. Oh, going for the fourth. You greedy bugger. Almost gets it. Nolan takes advantage of that. Pretty late in the round, he would need, yeah, he's pretty much shooting dead at this point, but he's going to go for the Hail Mary. Yeah, he was trying to get the takeout and have his shooter roll all the way in toward the middle there, but uh, inconsequential final couple of shots here. Ray Beerling goes up 4-0. Definitely a nice highlight shot. Ray Beerling secures that double takeout and rolls away here. Showing off his greed for the third 20 of the round with that beautiful takeout 20. Nolan first to act. Wowzer picks up two pegs. No valid shot. Unfazed, Ray just drains a 20. Nolan Tracy settles in, gets back to business. Ray comes up short this time. Ray goes long now. Ray has hammer, so uh, Nolan Tracy's still under pressure here. He's going to want to make sure he does not create any opportunities for Ray Beerling. I have made the mistake of leaving the door open a sliver for that man, and uh, he does like to find ways to make you pay for it. Nolan likely to try to hide here, and he left Ray's disc on as well. He wants to play games on his side of the board. If you ever watched Ray in the semifinals, he is very good about taking his time in these situations and uh, exploring all his options. He doesn't just shoot first and uh, <laughs> make decisions later. Very much to Nolan's uh, advantage what just happened there, but it still leaves him with a tricky situation. Goes through his own, uh, yeah, he did secure the off, but I'm guessing he's not very happy that he let that red disc creep in because you see Beerling try to take advantage of it. See what Nolan goes for here. Just content with the hit and stick, knowing that Beerling needs a double takeout 20. Beerling must not have felt it was there because he just uh, basically took a practice shot to get ready for the next round. It's 
4-2 now in favor of Ray Beerling in this race to 11. Ray opens up with a 20. Players definitely settling in now. Ray rolls away. There's an opening here for Nolan to come off that black disc and oh, so close. See what Ray goes for here. Oh, pushing for another 20. Just a little bit off on his angle. Nolan pushing for the follow through 20. Yeah, now Ray says, you know what, two can play that game. Doesn't knock the red disc off, making forcing Nolan to do a, a double takeout peel in order to force play back to the middle. Ray goes up 3-1 in the 20 cup. Very commanding lead, but Nolan not out of this yet. Now he's pretty much out of it. Nice touch 20 from Nolan, inconsequential. Ray Beerling goes up, I believe it is six to two in this match. Yeah, six two in favor of Ray Beerling. Nolan first to act, drains that open 20. Put a little bit of pressure on Beerling. A little bit short. Nice backboard for Ray Beerling. Unable to convert. I expect that red disc sitting in the five is right in Nolan's way for what he would like to do. Must have been he just went for the takeout. Interesting. Yeah, it was already interesting. Now it's more interesting. Beerling going to be forced to go through his own. Nice shot. Nolan needs a double. He also needs to draw a mistake at... Ooh, uh, that was good strategy. Uh, unideal execution. Beerling makes him pay. Takes a, a 20 advantage. He's up 2-1 to one in the 20 cup and with the hammer. Nolan Tracy and Tough at this point. Beerling may be making a, looking to make that hurt. <laughs> Nolan Mock throws the rest of his discs in the gutter because, uh, yeah, after that shot. Ooh, that was, a, that was a nifty creative shot there. Beerling taking a commanding lead at this point, about to go up 8-2 to two in this race to 11. Look at that, double takeout, catches the peg. Money shot. Ray goes long, let's see if Nolan's able to uh, take advantage of that. Nice roll away, putting some pressure on Beerling to get creative to, to somehow create a 20. Good board control by Nolan, just keeping his, uh, getting the takeouts but not pushing in too close. Ray uses the peg to drop back a little bit. At this point, looks like Nolan is settling for defense. Oh, but he catches that peg, bounces back toward the middle. Beerling potentially able to make him pay. 20 should be there, but the takeout's gonna be tough. We'll see if he's able to, oh, he doesn't get either one. That is worst case scenario in that situation. In that situation, you definitely want the takeout or the 20. Ideally, you want both. Nolan in pretty good shape here. He with the hammer, he's got two discs on. Beerling's going to be looking to manifest a, a 20, or a double, or both. He's no stranger to both, that's for sure. Nice takeout by Nolan. Again, we'll see if that sets Beerling up. It's not an easy double. Oh, gets the double, almost the 20. Nolan may have left that a little closer than he wanted to. See if Beerling's able to convert that. It's going to be a little bit of a drop back 20. The takeout is going to be the tricky part as well. 
Obviously a tough shot when you see Ray sitting back this long before he uh, before he pulls the trigger. Assessing the situation. That was such a gentle slice, just a little bit off. Ooh. Board's getting messy. Beerling was looking for the double takeout and keep a shooter on. He still left. Yep. Still a tough shot from Nolan, but he makes easy work of it. Securing another two points. Look at that. Near miss by Ray Beerling. Here we are, 8-4 Beerling and Nolan Tracy first to act in this, in this round. Nolan Tracy unable to secure the takeout, giving Beerling quite a quite a healthy advantage in this round. We'll see if there's enough. We'll see what Nolan's going for here. Looks like he's oh, utilized that peg. Almost came back, just a little bit off on the angle. Mm. Very interesting situation setting up here. Let's see what Nolan's trying to do. Oh, nice double takeout. He is against the hammer though, tied in the 20 cup. So everything is on the board at this point. So Nolan needs to draw a mistake out of Beerling. It's going to take a better hide than that. See, he may switch tactics here and go for a follow through, which he does, doesn't get it, but that is interesting. Although a tie not ideal for Nolan being this far behind at eight to four. <laughs> you hear Beerling say, well, that was pretty good. All right, we'll see. We'll see what Nolan tries to do here. He just hits the sticks, makes for an easy tie for Beerling, which I suspect he would take because that would put him up 9-5 to five in a race to 11. Nolan definitely wants a win, but by going for the win, he might straight up lose the round. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's what he was going for, but that's what he got. And we'll see if Beerling goes for the double. Same thing. By going for the win, he could... Uh, oh, he does get the double. Yeah, perfect weight on that. Great shot. Ray Beerling secures a 10-4 lead in this race to 11. Here we see a nice highlight. Double takeout by Nolan. Nolan Tracy with his back to the wall right now. At least he has hammer going into this final round. I shouldn't say final round. We don't know. It would be the final round if Beerling wins. Beerling leaves a pretty, uh, pretty user-friendly backboard for Nolan, and another one. All even in the twenty cup. Nolan Tracy with the hammer. Secures that 20 going up 3-2. to two. Both players just waiting for a miss out of their opponent and not getting it. Both players suddenly decided it'd be fun to just get dialed in and not miss 20s. Final shot, all Nolan needs is a valid shot in order to uh, in order to secure those two points. You see, he didn't even go for the 20, dropped to the side a little bit, lined up with a peg on the far side just for uh, extra security. Securing that two points, 10 to six for Ray Beerling. Nolan first to miss in this round, giving Beerling an early advantage. Nice takeout roll away. He's on the outside. See if Nolan just wants to peel or 
does want the pull back, which is a great move. Now he's got play on back on his side of the board. Gives him some options. Gives him the option of uh, either a hide potentially, or he needs a roll away, or even a follow through. Goes for the follow through, gets a little bit of push into the host. Now he's got something maybe to work with. Going for that 20 right there and uh, a little bit off now. Things over on Beerling's side of the board. Not quite as friendly for Tracy in this particular situation. He's going to be forced to try to use a peg. Running out of bullets at this point. Beerling with the hammer, with the 10-6 advantage in the match. Don't think Beerling was going for a 20 there. Just looking to not set Nolan up. Oh, wow. What a fantastic push. Just a little bit of misfortune there. Leaves Beerling. See if he's, yeah, Beerling makes him pay for that great shot that was almost successful. All Beerling needs, yeah, Beerling's already secured the win at this point. Great match between two great guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you're checking out the semifinal matches, the final match, and all other NCAA content coming at you from our channel. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're having a great day, and hopefully you get out there with your friends and play the greatest game on earth.